Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on a previous episode, I talked about a huge update that Valve made to Steam, which actually allows Linux players to play Windows games that are not built for Linux. And they did this by using a heavily modified version of Wine called Proton, which will allow this to happen. Now, the thing is, in order for you to make this work, you actually have to use a beta version of the Steam client before you could try out some of the games that they have already listed as being compatible and you could even try it out on windows games that aren't on a compatibility list yet so that is what i'm going to do today so the first thing you want to do is open up your steam client and you'll go here to steam and you'll go to settings and then once you're here under your account there is an option here called beta participation so right now there is one currently available and i'm going to go ahead and change and I'm going to go ahead and opt in on this beta program, which is the Steam beta update. So you go ahead and choose that. And we'll go ahead and say OK. And so once you do that, you just go ahead and restart Steam. And what it will do is it updates Steam like normal. So nothing really different here. OK, so the update has already downloaded and it's installing right now. It's only a 221 meg update, so that's not really large at all. And so now the Steam client is restarting. Okay, as soon as that opened, there's this new feature right here. Friends, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So let's see if it actually did update it. If you go here to settings, there's a new option right here for Steam Play. So here's the thing, you will now have the option to actually enable Steam Play for all titles. And there is Proton right there, which is that modified wine compatibility layer. And right now, typically, if I go to library and I go to Steam OS and Linux, that's usually what I see. However, if I go to the entire library, we have about 270 games here. These are all games, including Windows games. And one of the big ones that I wanted to try is definitely Doom. But this is going to be a huge download and I'm going to probably do that later. And so what I want to do right now is start off with something that is not technically supported. But something that I know it would be small to download. And it's a game that I absolutely love. And that is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Now before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm able to play all games in my library even if they're not made for Steam OS and Linux. So I'm going to go here to Steam, go back to settings. And as I showed you earlier, here's Steam Play. I'm going to enable Steam Play for all titles. Say OK. And then I'm going to restart Steam. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my games and I'm going to download Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And this isn't a huge game, so I should be able to install it fairly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so Bloodstained Curse of the Moon has completely downloaded. And so here is the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And automatically, I do get a Steam Play message saying this game will launch with Steam Play using a platform compatibility tool, which is Proton. Please review the fact for information on how to get the best experience on your system. So if I click on that. So this is actually the initial blog post that stated this new update. And so you do have to make sure that your graphic card drivers is actually the most up to date one. Um, I think my driver, the AMD version is the most up to date. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on that. Hopefully this will work. There it is preparing to launch Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Microsoft VC Redis, there's DirectX. Man, this is kind of exciting and scary at the same time. And since Blast and Curse of the Moon is not a really heavy game, it's not a performance hog, um, I'll be able to tell right away if it even works. And then if it does work, then I'm going to try something more substantial like Doom. Wow. There it is. <laughs> there's Blood Stink. Curse of the Moon, I cannot believe it. It works. What? Oh my god. I love Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, and I've been playing it in a virtual machine for Windows. 
but now I am playing it natively in Linux through this compatibility layer. This is oh wow, this is really crazy. I'm I'm super happy right now. So the good thing is, or the amazing thing is, is the first thing it showed me is it works. And as you can see, this works marvelously. And obviously this is not a heavy duty game, but just the simple fact that it works, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Hats off to the entire team at Valve and also the wine team as well because they work closely together on this. But now the next big step is for me to try out a really intensive game and that's going to be Doom. Um, I've always wanted to play Doom on Linux without having to use Wine. So I want to play it through this new Proton. And since Doom does run on the Vulkan API, it should perform really well. At least that's what I'm hoping. But as you can see here, this is absolutely awesome. I can finally play a Windows game directly on Linux without having to do anything special. So, wow, this is going to change gaming big time. You know, as I did mention on my initial thoughts, this is really going to shift the gaming landscape, especially if people are able to play most of their games, including uh, the really more intensive games on Linux through this Proton layer. And so if you had any thoughts on anything that I talked about today, or if you've already tried this new Steam client beta yourself on your Linux desktop operating system, then be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.